In this small video I'll show you how to access data, more data, on uh, the Jews website. Um, today we're going to look at how to access uh, data from the National Will uh, uh, database. Uh, the easiest way to access Geos, that's the way I use normally, is to Google Geos and uh, choose Data and Maps, Data or Court. And uh, here you get access to a lot of different data and a lot of different maps. Before we do that, we could uh, ask to have it in English, uh, then it's easier to deal with. And uh, we choose products, services, and facilities just as we did when we had uh, when we were looking for maps. And choose data and maps. Here we have uh, we've been using these before the maps of Denmark when we looked at the pre-quaternary surface at the top of limestone and so on. Today we are going to visit the National Will Database, Jupiter it's also called. Uh, here we have the Will Database and we will ask to view wells on map uh, to get a good overview of all the wells uh, or the drillings in the area. Uh, when you get access to the well database uh, you can add either waterworks or uh, boreholes. Before I do that I'll zoom in a bit. You can do that by scrolling or you can use these buttons uh, uh, here to the right. I'll just zoom in a little bit more. And the reason I zoom in is because we have tremendous and a, a tremendous amount of uh, drillings or wells registered in the Danish uh, National uh, Drilling Database. This is because we have been registering all our drillings since we started making them and all the drillings are are stored in this database. So we have information on many many thousand drillings. I think at the moment it's more than 300,000 drillings uh, in the database. And these are just one portion of all drillings because all the shallow drillings, for example, for geotechnical purpose, uh, uh, they, if you make a geotechnical drilling, you're not obliged to register it. So it's mostly deeper drillings that are registered here. Uh, that's too bad because we would actually have had liked it very much if we had all the geotechnical drillings uh, registered. But let's zoom in on Horsens area. And then I asked to get uh, the drillings uh, shown on the map. And here you have all the, the drillings uh, in the area here. We have a legend and I'm, I'm sorry it's in Danish but uh, let's make a short uh, translation. The blue dots represents uh, water wells. Uh, wells made for water abstraction purpose. The brown ones are the geotechnical drillings. The pink are drillings made for uh, raw materials, for example, if you want to find out if you have some suitable sand in an area. The yellow ones are environmental drillings uh, and this could be where you want to look into if you have a, a pollution in a certain area. Then we have uh, the green ones. Uh, these are drillings uh, that are not one of these uh, other drillings, so we call them uh, uh, other drillings. Uh, and then the the light pink uh, here is drillings that have been uh, closed again, have been uh, closed by filling them up. So they're not there anymore, but we still have the information about them. And then we have the black dots. These represent drillings that uh, we don't know why have been made. Uh, that could be many purposes. It, it can also be very old drillings uh, where we, we today don't know why were they made. Um, first of all, we could take a look at VIA, uh, VIA University College. We have really a lot of drillings uh, in the area. We have all the drillings here in this area and we have 
uh, a lot of drilling that have been made uh, in this part of the area. Uh, they are not there anymore, but they have probably been made as as uh, geotechnical drillings. You can see that there are four drillings for each uh, for each house here, for each building. This is typically for geotechnical drillings. The reason they are light uh, pink is because they have been closed again. They are not there anymore. Uh, when they made the uh, the house here, I think this is uh, uh, Vitus Bering, uh, uh, what is called? VBE Park. Um, they made a lot of drillings and they also made a lot of drillings here. Then we have the green drillings here. They are actually drillings that we have made for heating purpose or actually more for science purpose because uh, in VIA we have been, we have been um, um, uh, looking into how effective uh, the underground is for abstracting heat and using heat pumps. This has been a, a, a big science discipline at VIA for many years uh, and we have pu published a lot of articles on, on the topic. You can uh, see that uh, there's a one yellow drilling here and that is an environmental drilling that has been made uh, at a certain point. And that's because we, in VIA, we suspect that there might be a, a slight, a slight uh, or that the soil might be slightly polluted. It used to be an excavation where they have excavated clay in this area, clay that were used for, for producing uh, uh, bricks, uh, I think it's 100 years ago or something like that. Uh, and they suspect that uh, the excavation was filled up with materials that were not always clean and, and non-polluted. Uh, so there's been at least one um, drilling made for, for environmental purpose. Yes, let's leave uh, Via for for a moment and uh, and have a look at Horsens, uh, the Horsens area. You can see here we have a lot of environmental drillings. The red ring uh, uh, around these drillings uh, means that uh, they are not the data are not owned by Jews. It's because they are very very shallow drillings and and. Uh, uh, Jews might not have access to them, but we can check up on that. We're, we're going to look more closely at the drillings. Um, before we look at uh, the rest of the area, let's look um, into to some drillings and see how we can how we can get the drilling report. I'll choose this drilling, the blue one. Remember, blue drillings are water wells. Um, drill drillings made for water abstraction. Usually they are of a good quality and there's usually a lot of information. Not always, but but uh, most often. Uh, so if I double click on this drilling, I will open a menu here uh, and you can see that there's a bit of information about the drilling, but there's also a link. So if you choose the link here, you get all the information that Juice has on this drilling. You can look at the data like this um, or you can look at uh, uh, a PDF file showing information on the drillings. Now I'll open a PDF file. Oh, and I'm so disappointed because in this drilling we have absolutely no information. The only information we have is about the water level, the groundwater level. This was 30.9 meters below terrain when they measured it in 1977. I think we'll try and find another drilling because there's, a lot of, there's not a lot of information here. So I just closed down this drilling report and we'll see if we can find another drilling. I'll also close down this menu. Um, let's see, there's a drilling here. It is a water well uh, and it is used for for irrigation and for um, for a farm. Let's see if there's any information here. If I scroll down, 
okay now we have information we have now information about the geology we have information of how the drilling has been built up we have information on groundwater and chemistry and a lot more but let's go through the individual parts here even though we have asked to have it in English uh, these informations are not in English, unfortunately. Uh, but let's look into it. First of all, you have uh, here some information about where's the drilling, what's the address, when was it drilled, this is drilling dates, uh, who drilled the drilling, what was the purpose, what is it used for, what is the municipality and the region, and and um, how deep is it? You can see that this drilling is actually 90 meters. Uh, what are the uh, coordinates for it, the UTM coordinates? Uh, and what is the terrain level where the drilling were performed? And we today we use terrain levels uh, according to DVR-19, as you see here. We used to use DNN, but today we use DVR-90. So if you want to know the terrain level at this point, you have it here, 25.41 meters. So the drilling is, is uh, performed at a place that is lying 25.41 meters above sea level. Um, yes, nothing else is interesting here. You also have a map and you can zoom in and see the drilling in more detail uh, where is uh, uh, the precise location of the drilling. <coughs> then you have uh, some information of um, which point on the drilling you use for when you want to measure the groundwater level. This is not important for you now, it's more a technical information. If you want to go out and make a measurement of the groundwater level, it's important knowledge for you, but you're not going to do that. Then you have uh, information about uh, geology and cyclogram. A cyclogram is simply this way of illustrating geology. <laughs> Uh, and of course it's in Danish, but uh, you will get to know some of these uh, names. In the bottom we have clay, and uh, clay is is uh, is Lea in Danish. It uh, is evaluated. No, they haven't stated when uh, the age of this clay. But then we have Eocene clay, Lillebel clay plastic clay. Uh, you have heard about this when we talked about the paleogene. It is uh, clay, it's fat, it's light uh, grey-green, it uh, contains calcium carbonate a little bit, it's plastic clay. And on top of all this plastic clay that we see from, let's see, we have the plastic clay from, let's see, this is uh, top, oh, oh sorry, I'll see if I can illustrate it. This is top and bottom uh, according to meters below terrain and this is top and bottom according to sea level. These are two different things. Um, they have drilled of course from top of terrain and drilled down and when we reach 40 meters below terrain uh, they meet the eucene plastic clay, the so-called a little bit clay. This corresponds to minus 14.59 uh, uh, meters below sea level where they meet the uh, eocene plastic clay uh, for the first time. But you get some info, uh, important information. The plastic clay in this point is lying 40 meters below terrain. This normally wouldn't pose any problem uh, to a road building project. On top of the Eocene plastic clay you find glacial moraine clay, glacial moraine sand, glacial meltwater sand, glacial meltwater gravel, meltwater sand, meltwater sand and so on. Uh, and all these layers here are glacial, so safe to build on, uh, has uh, been pre-compressed or, or pre-consolidated and you find them from 
2.2 meters below terrain, corresponding to 23.21 meters above sea level. Notice there's no uh, sign in front of it here, but here uh, when you go down below sea level you have a minus in front. And in the top we have clay uh, which is mixed with gravel and they have not uh, they have not stated from which age they think this clay is. But most probably some of it is topsoil, maybe they have some fill in the top. If you look at the psychogram, it's a way of uh, illustrating the geology. You start here from terrain and then you go down and this is sea level uh, and this is below sea level. So we go from top uh, of terrain down to sea level, continues below sea level and, and end the drilling here. And the red color means a glacial uh, meltwater sand. The brown color here is moraine clay, meltwater sand, meltwater sand, meltwater sand, meltwater sand, uh, moraine sand and moraine clay and finally plastic clay. So that's a way of illustrating uh, the geology in such a drilling. Uh, then we have information about how the drilling has been uh, performed and how it is built up. This is not important for you now. It would be if you were uh, studying to become a driller, but, but, not, uh, but not important for you. Then we have some information on groundwater. They have pumped some groundwater, you can see here. They have pumped uh, 58 cubic meter an hour. And the groundwater level, when doing that, was lowered by 9 meters. And they pumped for 2 hours. Uh, this is something we're going to talk more about when we're going to talk about uh, groundwater and uh, the groundwater level. Groundwater chemistry, there's no information. Sedimentary chemistry, no information. And then there are some digital documents. And you could always try to take a look at this. Uh, here we have a drilling report version 1. We can take a look at it. It, it will be in Danish, I'm sorry about that. But uh, uh, this is a driller's uh, uh, journal made by the drilling company. And they have a lot of information added here, and all these information have gone into uh, to the database. And then the driller have uh, classified uh, the the materials, uh, the sediments that he drilled through, and he has added some some more uh, information. Uh, in this case, it's not important for you, but there might be information that could be relevant. This is one way of looking at a drilling uh, report. There's another way to choose a PDF file as we did before. Uh, this gives another overview of uh, the drilling. And um, uh, we have translated all the different elements here uh, and, and I have added it on its learning so you can see translation. So you can find your way through a drilling report like this. For example, drilling place, drilling date, who drilled the drilling, the municipality region, the terrain level, uh, which samples had been taken out, the purpose, the use, the drilling method, uh, the coordinates, um, uh, the measurement of water level and the pumping tests uh, and then geology seen in another way not as a cyclogram but uh, how they they have looked when when you drill down you can also see how the bill uh, the drilling has been built up here we have what we call a screen an intake uh, for water and here we have some clay that have been put down to seal from water coming down from the top um, and and uh, here you can see illustration of the rest of the drilling. You can see the plastic clay here shown with the blue color, marine clay, marine sand, milk water sand, all the red, marine clay, marine sand, marine, uh, no, not marine sand, milk water sand, sorry, all the red is milk water sand, 
the brown here is is a moraine sand, uh, moraine gravel, uh, and this is moraine clay, moraine sand, meltwater sand. Sorry about that. Uh, but look for translations of all these elements here uh, in its learning, and then you can use that for interpreting or or, or evaluating all the drillings in the area. That was a bit about uh, the drilling journal. I'll close it again. So let's go back to the well database. Now we have looked at this drilling. I can close it down. Uh, we can take a look at another drilling just for the fun of it um, and see if there's any information here. That's not a lot of information, but you can at least see that from, from terrain to 6.1 meters they have found sand. From 6.1 to 15.2 they have found clay. So they have a little bit of information, but not a lot. Uh, but that's, uh, that's the deal of it. Uh, in some drillings you have a lot of information, in others you don't have a lot. Um, I'll just move the legend a little bit uh, and I could also minimize it. That's another way because it's pretty big. Um, there is a way of making a cross section of uh, drillings in here. Um, if you want to do that, uh, uh, let's see where it is. Uh, I cannot find it here. Maybe it's not available anymore. But there used to be a way, but I don't see to be. I don't seem to be able to find it right now. No. Let's see. No. This is just removing. So let's uh, let's uh, forget about that. But take a look at all the drillings in your area and see what kind of information you can get for, uh, from the drillings. Uh, there will be a lot of uh, different informations. And uh, it's a good idea when you mention information from drillings. It's a very, very good idea to show the map where you can see the drilling. So make a map like this show the drillings and then use the important information from the drillings. If you have a drilling with no information, it's not important. Uh, if you have a drilling that is only two meters deep, it might not be that important. Uh, so use your common sense when you look into drillings. Only use the drillings that uh, you find uh, interesting. I think you can actually draw on uh, I think that's a new feature, or maybe this is a profile. I'll just try it. No, I just think you can draw lines. Um, but let's have a look if I double click here. No, it looks, yes, you can get a cross section of the drillings you see here. Unfortunately, there are no, there are no informations uh, in these drillings. We'll try to make a cross section of, of some other drillings. So I'll close this down. Uh, move a little bit and see if I can find in uh, drillings with uh, some information. Uh, normally the blue ones are the good ones because water wells always have information. Do not make a cross section looking like this. A cross section should be a nearly a, a straight line. In this case I just add this drilling here. Oh sorry it closes down. I'll try again click here and add this drilling, maybe also this drilling. Uh, and now you can see a cross section starting from north and going to the south here. So we have the drillings here and you can see um, you can see all the information uh, in the drillings. Uh, I'll see if I can get it in a new window I could here. Uh, here you can see the individual drillings. Uh, moraine clay is shown by this uh, brown color and uh, meltwater sand here and plastic clay. So somewhere here you have uh, plastic clays. Oh and this is interesting. This is actually diatomite. It has been deposited in an interglacial time period. So you have some interglacial sediments in the area. Uh, the Cross section here is not very usable, but you're welcome to to add it in your report. But it doesn't show a lot of information. You will have to add uh, some text showing uh, what uh, what is it. If you put the cursor on it, you can actually see the text. 
uh, what I would expect you to do is to show a map uh, illustrating the placement of all the drillings and then go through the drillings that are close to your area not all the drillings in the area but the drillings here in this area where you're going to place your road and uh, see if you can find some information that could be useful regarding geology in your area that is all for now um, ask me questions uh, if if uh, you f find it troublesome to to visit the the national well database uh, you're very welcome to grab hold of me if you have any questions <laughs>